Orissa's population comprises of, among others, a large segment of indigenous aborigines. They live in the hinterland, which has rich mineral resources under the earth and thick forest cover on the surface. Over the years, sustenance of life of these communities have been becoming very difficult as their natural habitats have been continually destroyed due to hectic mining activities and industrialization attended with deforestation. The scope to sustain life through traditional means has been constantly shrinking, making them vulnerable. Besides this, lack of communication, education, health care and alternative vocation has aggravated the plight of the indigenous aborigine. Moreover, the society of the aborigines is ridden with ignorance, poverty, malnutrition and superstitions because of which they are often exploited. Some even fall prey to the evil designs of the insurgents and join the camps an indigenous aborigin society has been getting beleaguered. The panacea to eradicate the ills being suffered by the indigenous aborigin society lies in the spread of right knowledge, education and vocational empowerment. This slice of heaven is not created by a man who is enough to donate, nor it is funded by any agency, government, non-government or corporate, but by an individual who lost his father at an early age of four and began a life ridden with abject poverty and had to endure many social and economic challenges himself. He is none other than Mr. Achyuta Samanta, who nurtured a dream to eradicate the sufferings of the socially challenged indigenous aboriginal children of the country, living amidst poverty and alienation in the hinterland. In 1992-93, the visionary mind of Mr. Achyuta Samanta thought of a model plan to empower the indigenous aboriginal community through holistic education, rigorous life skills, personality development, vocational skills training and many other innovative pedagogical moves. Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences KISS started with just 125 indigenous aboriginal children way back in 1993, has today grown into the largest residential institute of the world for 25,000 aboriginal children. They are provided with food, accommodation, health care, education, from kindergarten to post-graduation, all absolutely free. Kiss ensures the total transformation of the indigenous aboriginal children and is indeed a revolutionary endeavor. The physical infrastructure in KISS today comprises 1.5 million square feet of built-up area standing on 80 acres of land and is replete with many modern state-of-the-art amenities including multimedia enabled classrooms, state of the art laboratories, up to date modern computer lab, library come reading room on 15,000 square feet with 20,000 titles, a tribal museum with a collection of anthropological materials is a place for research on life and culture of the indigenous people. Multipurpose hall 
come dining hall with the seating capacity for 10,000 people. Water filtration and bottling plant on reverse osmosis technology. 200 baited dispensary. A modern bathing and toilet complex. Steam operated mechanized kitchen. Eco friendly solar powered campus lighting and 24 into 7 surveillance with deployment of closed circuit cameras. Given the right education, right training, and right grooming, the indigenous aborigines too can excel in all areas of human skills at par with the mainstream human communities. The children in KISS have not only excelled in academics, securing 10% result, but also have performed well in sports in the international arena, winning World Cup in rugby in London and participating in Commonwealth Games and Asian Games, etc., have proven their calibre. KISS students have recently scaled new heights of glory. These students have not only been posting excellent results in various qualifying examinations, but also are doing excellently well in the field of higher studies and research by joining the most prestigious institutions like IIMs, IITs and others on their own merit. Apart from academic activities, these students have been participating in various national and international social events such as Global Walk for World Peace, Malala Day celebrations at United Nations headquarters in New York, etc. Besides visiting over 20 countries on various exchange programs. They are also doing exceedingly well in cinema and other performing arts. How can we KISS was selected by the UNFPA to represent Asia to participate in the live discussion with the UN Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, on the occasion of the International Youth Day. In order that the students find a job at the end of their education, they are provided with vocational training in over 50 trades, including integrated farming, animal husbandry and others which use the inherent skills and inclinations of the students. The scheme, Earn While You Learn, is indeed unique and instills confidence on the children's creativity. Meritorious students of KISS are given scope to pursue professional courses in Kate University. 5% of the total seats are reserved for the case passouts. With the support of UNFPA, KISS has been providing life skills and adolescent reproductive sexual health education to 1,500,000 students in different schools and colleges of Forissa. This unique experiment, which addresses the Millennium Development Goals, has been attracting people of substance from all corners of the globe. So far, 10 Nobel laureates have visited KISS, which in itself a unique feature in the history of any institute of its kind. Presidents, Vice Presidents, Prime Ministers, Governors, Chief Ministers, Union Ministers, Ambassadors, Educationists, Planners and Policy Makers, Social Activists, Columnists, Sports Personalities, Cine Stars, legal luminaries and many others who hail it as incredible and in Indonesian talk about its replication everywhere. It was a unique event when a 250-member contingent of legal luminaries of the country 
including six Supreme Court judges, preferred to share a luncheon with the 15,000 students of KISs on the same floor as a token of their solidarity with the cause of indigenous aboriginal uplift. Several contingents of student volunteers from different universities across the globe visit KISS every year and spend meaningful time with the students of KISS. Many regional, national and international magazines and electronic media have published and broadcast features on KISS time and again, including The Time, The South China Morning Post, The Reader's Digest and The Times London. The American Public Broadcasting Service, PBS, having the highest TRP rating, featured a program on KISS. World organizations like UN, UNFPA, UNESCO, US Micro Scholarships, etc. have come forward to partner with KISS and have expressed astonishment over such an unparalleled feat achieved by the sheer willpower of an humble individual who has become the change agent of the world. KISS has been recognizing outstanding individual contributions for the development of humanity across the globe by presenting a very coveted KISS Humanitarian Award every year since 2008. The KISS Humanitarian Award 2012 was presented to His Excellency Mr. Leon Chen Jigmi Y. Thinley, Honorable Prime Minister of the Royal Government of Bhutan. The KISS Humanitarian Award for 2013 is presented to Ms. Albina Du Bois Robray, FXB founder and president. KISS has already started replicating itself by setting branches in 20 districts of Orissa and other states of India. A branch of KISS has now started functioning in the Indian capital of New Delhi. Two international branches of KISS, one in Bangladesh and the other in Cambodia, are also being set up. Our aim is to educate 200,000 underprivileged Aborigin children by the turn of this decade. We can and we will do it with your help and support. Help us in whatever way you can to bring these hapless children to the mainstream in helping the children to dream for a better future. Let us work together to make the dreams come true.